In this video, I want to be talking about marathon training shoes. I'm going to be comparing Kaida, the Sokini Kivara Pro, against the Asics Super Blast. The reason I'm going to be comparing them is because if you're marathon training, you require a shoe that's going to go super long and you're not after particularly uh, a quick shoe. I think these two shoes offer something in terms of marathon training that could actually appeal to everybody. So welcome to 40 Runs, and this is a little bit of a different uh, versus video because I want to talk about these two shoes in particular because I think if you are marathon training, let's say you've got a place in the London Marathon in April, I think you've got two shoes here that can do most of your marathon training and probably race day. Now the reason I've included both of them is because I think the Convara Pro is the shoe for you stability shoe wearers and I'm not saying this is a stability shoe at all, I've got to be very careful with that, but I think you can get away with this because of the stable platform in it. I think the uh, Super Blast is a, a less stable ride, okay, but it is a wide platform, so I think if you're a neutral shoe person then this is probably the way to go but if you need a bit of guidance then this is the way to go but let's get into some of the stats and features about these shoes and i'm going to tell you a little bit about the ride and why i think these work for marathon training okay so both of these shoes 40 mil over 40 mil a stack both are over two uh well 200 pounds just over 200 pounds both have got um really nice uppers this is slightly warmer uh in terms of weight i think they're about the same just over 300 grams both fit true to size uh both outsoles are not very good uh this is terrible and this is not very good but you know what it is what it is this does have a plate in it the Convara pro does have a plate in it, it has a three-quarter length teardrop shape um, playing it and it has speed roll where the super blast has the flight foam turbo compound in it which is a really good compound it actually has another layer of foam here as well but it's a very very good compound that gives you the propulsion uh, without the plane both are super wide which i think is the key in terms of the stability uh, and both are very very comfortable for example the convara pro you've got a sock liner in there which is made of power run plus which is really really comfortable okay so why are these shoes good at marathon training well you can literally do everything in them you can do your easy stuff you can do your goal pace work in it you can do long runs in it you can do pretty much everything and you can race in the shoe i don't have an issue in terms of goal pace work in the shoe i've done plenty in the super blast uh in my last marathon training block and to be honest with you with the kevara pro you've got the plate in there as well that three-quarter length which is really helping with the speed roll so in terms of goal pace work you're going to be absolutely fine um because of the stable rides in them you're going to get that uh, confidence to run long in them um both of these shoes i think will be very very good over long distance uh but also like i said in, in then in that marathon training block where you're probably going to be putting some of that goal pace work in there, you can drop that in real easy. It will transition through the paces. But then, as I just said, you know, you can do all the easy work and you can just pick these up and run, I don't know, four mile recovery run. That's where the shoes come into their own. And I appreciate £200 a lot of money, but I think you're getting a shoe that you can literally do all your training in and race day. There's absolutely no reason, and I said it in this video, uh, that you wouldn't wear these in race day. These are fantastic shoes to wear for race day. Yes, they're not super, super fast. Yes, they're not super, super light. But if you're looking just to get round the damn thing, then both of these shoes are going to be just fine. Now, it's very hard to pick between these two. Uh, for me, personally, I'd probably go with a Super Blast, but that's um, just personal preference. I just really love the shoe. I think, like I said in the video I've done, if you're after some form of guidance, then you go with a Sockany Convara Pro. It is a fantastic shoe. It really is. But both of these shoes are very good people, and that's why I wanted to highlight them in this sort of non-versus videos i think both of these offer sh um the ability to give you confidence and versatility in your marathon training and yes they're expensive right i, I really appreciate that but honestly i think if, if you if you're going to spend some money and you want to shoot for marathon training then it's probably going to be one of these two that will do you just fine 